welcome back to the videos. Welcome back to the Northeast. I've had a couple of days off, feeling rested, recovered. I basically just sat in a jacuzzi for the last two days. So I'm feeling very good. Today is also an exciting day because I'm heading into town on the mountain bike for some reason and I'm going to sign the license to my new studio. So that was successful, but a bit scary. Oh, this wasn't forecast. So basically what I signed there is a contract for a brand new studio space, literally being built still in the middle of Newcastle to act as a base for filming videos on this channel. Basically, it's reached a point where I'm working from home most of the time, filming a lot of videos inside. So there's like the tips videos and how to's and, and some like mechanics based things. And I'm filming them all from the inside of my house, which means there's a lot of bikes, a lot of wheel sets, a lot of tools everywhere, which I've been trying to keep contained in the garage. As regular viewers of this channel will know, I redid the garage to look all nice, got some good lighting in there. But as soon as I put kind of half of my stuff in it, it was full. Cycling is a hobby that takes up a lot of space, as I'm sure a lot of you already know. That means I needed to find a solution. As things got more serious, I looked around for a studio space, found the one that you would have seen in the videos last week. And basically it was a great deal in my budget, ticked all the boxes in terms of space, nine meters by four meters. So huge compared to the uh, single garage that we've got at home. But also you have to think of it in the space that it frees up at home as well. So I'm gonna end up with way more room, less bike stuff just in the way, kind of cluttering up our lives and what is a dedicated separate place for work which is very important in my opinion. Now I am quite a disciplined person. I take work very seriously. And as a result, I end up with lots of videos posted on this channel. But having a separate workspace, which you have to commute to, puts you in a completely different mindset. Should mean a lot more focus and it should mean I get out on the bike a lot more as well. Even if it's just a short bit every day, it will mean I have to ride up this very steep gravelly track which if i take this bike with the mud tires can take 40 minutes or so so what will this actually mean for the channel hopefully not that much there'll be a new filming location obviously i'm aiming to still do just as many outdoor rides hopefully some travel will be on the cards and it will make things easier in terms of filming indoor videos too so all the tip stuff and things like that i mentioned earlier really though what i hope it will create is efficiency. Dedicated filming space with all my stuff in it, space for bikes, space for filming, everything gets faster, I have more energy, therefore I can put more into actually making more stuff. I want to create more, I want to do bigger projects and I have a feeling this space is going to be very enabling. Right, I should probably get home as quick as possible now because it just looks like very grey. I'm heading towards Mordor. You honestly couldn't make it up. Look at that outside. The sun. Literally every time I ride, this happens. Oh, and yes, this is a moustache on my face. I kind of shaved it in as a joke before we went on holiday, just because I had a moustache when I first met Daisy. Now though, I just have a moustache and now it's on the internet, so great. While I'm here, this package has turned up. And inside here is something very cool. Now you may remember this particular magazine dropped in previous episodes of this vlog. Basically this is owned by my friend Stu's friends and they asked me if I'd do some promotion of their magazine in these videos. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different to usual. Inside this magazine there's all sorts of different types of cycling but a lot of bike packing and touring which is one of my favorite things and there's also amazing photography of Lawrence and Liam, and a host of really cool stories. So, down below in the description, there is a link. If you click this link, you will get 10% off and 10% of the cost will go directly to charity. Disclaimer, I do not benefit or make any money from this, except for this copy of the magazine. I just wanted to show you a cool cycling magazine by some friends of a friend. So there you go. Oh, and I should probably mention the charity that they're gonna be giving the money to is the Pace Center. A lot of you guys will remember the Pace Center. They help children with motor disorders and they have an amazing school and it's just fantastic what they're doing. So that's where the money's gonna go. So everybody buy loads of magazines, please. I was gonna come in here and do some bike maintenance stuff, but I've left it in a right mess before I went away. Cleaning up is gonna take longer than the actual maintenance. 
<sighs> it was a nice relaxing weekend though. Is it actually beneficial to spend like three hours sat making your skin all wrinkly in a hot tub though? I'm guessing you can overdo it. You're basically boiling yourself. Well, it's probably not hot enough to actually boil you. One other fantastic thing about getting the studio in town is that I can get rid of some of the stuff that's in here that I don't really want to throw away. Like, you know, nostalgic things like these carbon wheels that I destroyed or these carbon wheels that I destroyed. They have sentimental value, but also they also take up loads of space. Also underestimated how big this Octobox is. You need a surprising amount of space to film things which are relatively small, like bicycles. It's why I ended up building a massive wall in my garden to take photos of bikes, because you have to get so far back to get the proper perspective to take a decent photo. And I had planned on originally doing it in here, but there just isn't enough room. Hopefully I can remove some stuff from here, get a bit more clean space, and then that will be a fantastic functional studio and this will be a functional workshop again so I can actually work on bikes and not um, put a little bit of the black like chain grease all over the living room. I bet you all do that as well. And then you walk around on it in socks and then you end up like putting little splodges of the black grease all over your house. Just me. Huge outstanding question though. Where does the giant GT85 sign go? Studio or workshop? Now, the reason I didn't show you inside was because I was busy signing the contracts and stuff. But also, it's a complete building site at the moment. It has improved since the other day where I showed you it and showed you the window on camera. But it's going to be a couple of weeks before it's ready. We are heading back to London for Christmas, so I don't know if I'm going to be moving into the studio before then. There is also one more very exciting thing about being in that location which you'll have to wait and see. As you can probably tell, I am very excited about this and it's been a dream of mine to have my own dedicated studio related to work and filming and all of that stuff. I just wanted to say a big thanks to you guys for watching all of these and making it possible. Being up here in Newcastle versus London, it does make things more accessible, but it is still an expense and a risk and I wouldn't be able to do this without the traction that the channel's got and all of you guys watching every day. So thank you. Now, it is freezing cold in here and while these lights above me do make things a little bit warmer, I'm going to go inside and put a new chain on my bike. It was a lovely weekend in a place called Bremish. Did you enjoy it? It was like fake Beamish. There was a storm. We nearly got stuck there again. Basically, it snowed again loads. There was another storm and we could have ended up stuck there, but there's worse places to be stuck than in a place that has a hot tub. Did you enjoy it? I do feel more relaxed than before I left. Do you? Yep, and now it's Monday and I feel the same again. <laughs> hey, do we need to go away for like more than two days? Look at my trousers! Avocados!